Well, I think um, certainly we were able to um, get a lot of practice defensively. Um, our defense penalty corner unit, we've um, had a couple changes with the, uh, the the staff, if you will, of our defense penalty corner, and um, they had a lot of opportunity to defend, and we did quite well. I mean, statistically, we shut down a lot of their corners, um, and uh, we uh, were learning how to defend a, a great, smooth passing team with, um, with good stick skills. So we learned a lot from this game. Um, they're the number one team for a reason. And I think we fought them hard throughout. We never gave up. And um, I'm, I'm hoping that we can uh, take these things that we've learned and, um, and beat the teams that we should beat. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we've changed up our attack penalty corners, um, did a lot of looking um, and probability and stat was not my class either in school, but I was looking at some things, some numbers, um, and not just for Stevenson University, but D3 um, field hockey in general. And attack penalty corners don't do so well, and it's primarily because of the surface, um, because it's uh, it's not the true um, carpet surface where you can uh, find true success with attack penalty corners. So we're doing something different, something that... Um, I've never seen it before, so I'm excited about that, and we're uh, we're executing on it, and um, I'm hoping we can give some more teams some uh, some struggles with that new uh, APC. I think yeah, I think Tanner is definitely up on the forefront, and she's dynamic, and she's fast, and she's aggressive, and um, and then Noel um, is also a, a fabulous finisher, um, and then um, we've just changed up our system so now we're going from a two forward system to a three forward system so we've got a lot of people that are rotating and, and vying for that um, third forward spot um, and they're all very good and, and have the ability to put the ball in the net as well so it's it's an exciting time to uh, to try and gain some opportunities uh, I mean I think the positives are is that um, for example, against York, we really struggled in that game, and the kids got very down and um, and 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 didn't respond like they needed to. Um, and we talked about that. So it's it was such a mental game, and I said, you know, this is this is where we are right now. We're going to take every single game as a one goal game because that's really what it comes down to. So if they score a goal, then um, it's still one nothing in our eyes. If they score two goals, it's still one nothing in our eyes because you got to take it one goal at a time, and um, and certainly the opposite way as well. So hopefully in the future we'll be scoring those one goals and a lot of them. <laughs>